Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa ibinigay ninyong panibagong pagkakataon upang kami ay matuto. Salamat sa pagkakataong maipatuloy namin ang aming pag-aaral sa kabila ng mga pagbabagong dulot na kinakaharap naming pandemya. Gabayan ninyo kaming lahat na mag-aaral upang malinang ang aming isipan at maunawaan ng lubos ang anumang leksyon na itinuturo sa amin. Gabayan din naman ninyo ang aming mga guro na patuloy at walang sawang nagbibigay inspirasyon at gumagabay sa amin sa kabila ng kinakaharap naming pagsubok. Sa iyo ang kaluwalhatian at aming pagsamba, Panginoon naming Diyos sa pangalan ng iyong anak na aming tagapagligtas. Amen. Here is it. Identify the different kinds of lines. The first given lines are these. These are the lines that do not meet. Is it intersecting lines, parallel lines, or perpendicular lines? In 1, 2, 3, go! Very good! It is parallel lines. Good job! Our second lines these are the lines that form square corners. Is it intersecting lines, parallel lines, or perpendicular lines? In 1, 2, 3, go! Very good! It is perpendicular lines. Then, for our third lines, these are the lines that intersect each other. Is it intersecting lines, parallel lines, or perpendicular lines in 1, 2, 3, go! Very good! It is intersecting lines. Good job! For our first given ray, what is the name of it? Is it ray AB or ray BA? In the count of 1, 2, 3, click your answer! Very good! 
It is ray AB. For our second given ray, what is the name of it? Is it ray CD or ray DC? In the count of one, two, three, click your answer. Fantastic! The answer is ray CD. And for our third given ray, what is the name of it? Is it ray EF or ray FE? In the count of one, two, three, click your answer. Very good. The answer is ray EF. And now for our last given ray, what is the name of it? Is it ray GH or ray HG? In the count of one, two, three, click your answer. Very good. The answer is Ray GH. At this point in time, let us energize our body parts as we sing and dance the angel song. Yeah, it is 90 degrees, we say a cute angel. Less than 90 degrees, we say a cute angel. More than 90 degrees, and that's the angel one. Eight, eight, eight. Right angel. It is 90 degrees, we say of this angel. Less than 90 degrees, we say of this angel. More than 90 degrees, and the same angel swan The name of angels are right, a cute of juice. The name of angels are right, a cute of juice. And the same angels, 180 degrees, and Now that we energize our body parts, let us now energize our mind by having this kind of activity. Arrange the letters to get the perfect word. Observe the following pictures below. Arrange the jumbled letters to form the perfect word. For our first pictures. Your answer is volcano. You are not getting for our second pictures. If your answer is eruption, you are right. Math terrific. And for our last pictures. If your answer is Ta'el Batangas, you are right. Math Husan. Pictures which were being presented has a great relation and the selection that we are going to read. So, let's start reading now. Taal Volcano in Batangas, Philippines was erupted on January 12, 2020, 43 years after its previous eruption in 1977. According to FIBOX, the director Dr. Renato Solidum, seismic swarms began and were later followed by phreatic eruption from Volcano Island main crater at around 1 p.m., Philippine Standard Time. Loud rumbling sounds were also felt and heard from the volcano island. By 2.30 p.m., the FIBOX raised the alert status to alert level 2. Although, the FIBOX through its Taal Volcano Observatory had advised residents of Volcano Island to evacuate at around 1 p.m. Stronger explosions began around 3 p.m., that is spewed an ash column exceeding a kilometer high, prompting the FIBOX to upgrade the alert status to alert level 3 by 4 p.m. Furthermore, Solidum confirmed that there was a magmatic intrusion that was driving the volcano's unrest. The FIBOX advised evacuation of the towns of Palete, San Nicolas, 
and Talisay in Batangas and other towns within the shores of Taal Lake. And now that we had already read the selection, let us try to answer the following questions. Number one, where can we found the Taal Volcano? If your answer is in Taal Batangas, Philippines, you are mad galing. For question number two, when did the Taal Volcano erupt? If your answer is in on January 12, 2020, you are correct. For question number three, how many years before it takes the Taal Volcano to erupt again? And the answer is 43 years. For question number four, at what time did the seismic swarms and phreatic eruption begin? If your answer is 1 p.m., you are mad galing. For question number five, at what time did the FIBOX raise the alert status of the Al Volcano into alert level 2? If your answer is 2.30 p.m., you are Mathusai. Question number 6. According to the selection, at what time did the stronger explosions begin? If your answer is 3 o'clock p.m., you are Mat Galing. For question number 7. What time did the FIBOX upgrade the alert status of Taal into alert level 3? If your answer is 4 o'clock p.m., you are mad terrific. For question number 8, why do we need to be alert and ready in this time of natural disasters? One possible answer is for us to be safe. Alright, my dear mad buddies, let us take a look at the pictures of the clock below that show the time when the Taal volcano begin to erupt. What can you observe on the hands of the clock? Yes, very good. They show different time. What time does the picture one shows? Okay, very good. It is 4 o'clock. Everybody, my dear mat buddies, let us show 4 o'clock using our arms or hands. All right, that's great. Let us now take a look on the picture too. What time is being shown? You are right, it is 3 o'clock. Again, let us now show it using our arms and hands. Very good. How about for picture 3? What time is it? All right, it is 2 o'clock. Again, my dear mat bodies, let us use our arms and hands to show 2 o'clock. Very good, my dear mat bodies. 3 o'clock shows an angle. And angles are formed when two rays meet, just like the hands of the clock. And it is measured in degrees. The hands of the clock meet at a common endpoint, and that is what we call the vertex. 3 o'clock shows a right angle, and right angle measures exactly 90 degrees and it forms square corners. This right angle can be named in three ways. We have angle BAC, or is read as angle BAC. Another one is angle CAB or is read as angle CAB. Another one is angle A or angle 1. And now, my dear mat bodies, let us try to measure this right angle. But wait! What is the thing that we can use to measure an angle? Do you know what is it? Very good! 
it is a protractor. And protractor is used to measure an angle. And now, let us try to measure it. Good job! It is 90 degrees. Right angle can be in this position. Let us now discuss another angle which was shown by 1 o'clock. And 1 o'clock shows an acute angle. Acute angle measures less than 90 degrees and it is smaller than right angle. And this illustration shows an acute angle. It can be named as angle PIG or is read as angle PIG. It can also be angle GIP or is read as angle GIP. And we also have angle I or is read as angle I. Let us now measure this kind of angle which is an acute angle. An acute angle can be like this. Another angle which was shown by 4 o'clock is what we called an obtuse angle. Obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees but is smaller than 180 degrees. Let us take a look at this example. This angle can be named as angle VAN or is read as angle VAN. It can also be angle NAV or is read as angle NAV or it can be angle A. And now, let us try to measure this angle. And this angle measures 120 degrees. And obtuse angle can be like this. These are some of the real life examples that illustrate the different kinds of angles. Did you know that you can have different angles on your name? This is one example of a name that shows or illustrates the different kinds of angles. Now that we already know on how to illustrate the different kinds of angles, let us now answer the different learning tasks. Let's start! And now for our learning task number one. Arrange the jumbled letters to form the correct word being described in the following sentences. The first given word is here. It starts with letter R and A. And its definition is, it measures exactly 90 degrees and forms a square corner. And your answer is, right angle. Very good. That's right. And now for our second jumbled letters. It starts with letter A and another A. And its definition is, it measures less than 90 degrees and smaller than right angle. The answer is, acute angles. Very good. And now for our third jumbled letters. It starts with O and another A. And its definition is, it measures more than 90 degrees but smaller than 180 degrees. And your answer is, obtuse angle. And there you have it. And now, for our learning task number two, identify the different kinds of angles being illustrated in the following pictures. Right, right, acute, or obtuse angle on the blanks provided. For our first picture, it is a sofa. For the next picture, a hunger. And for the third one, an ice cream cone. For the fourth one, 
a fan. And for the last one is a ruler. Okay children, can you now identify the kinds of angles being presented by the pictures? If it is okay to you, let us answer this. For the first picture, it is obtuse angle. For the next one, acute. For the third one, it is also an acute angle. For the fourth one, obtuse. And for the last picture, it is a right angle. Fantastic! For our learning task number three, classify the following objects below if they show right angle, acute angle, and obtuse angle. Draw the objects on the table provided below to show the angles. The first picture is a scissor, the next one is a watermelon, third one is a window, the fourth one is the clock, and the last one is a sofa. I will give you three minutes to answer this learning task number three. Are you ready, children? You may start answering now. At this point in time, let us answer the learning task number three. The objects that shows the right angles are the window together with the clock or the hands of the clock. And for acute angles, the picture of a scissor and a slice of watermelon. And for the third one, which is the obtuse angle, a picture of sofa is the object that shows obtuse angle. 
for our learning task number four, which is entitled Angles on My Name. You need to write your name or nickname in a sheet of paper illustrating or showing the different kinds of angles. You may see the example below. Here are the rubrics. I will give you three minutes to do this. And after that, you may submit it on our submission day. For our next learning task number five, it's drawing time. You need to illustrate the following using the indicated angle. For number one, angle rat, right angle. For number two, angle dog, or for the obtuse angle. Three, angle cat, acute angle. Number four, angle cow, right angle. And number five, angle pig, acute angle. I will give you three minutes to illustrate the following using the indicated angles.
now for the possible answers for this learning task number five are this. For our learning task number six, it is entitled Angels on Fun. In this learning task, you need to make a fan that illustrates the different kinds of angles. It can be right, acute, and obtuse. Choose only one angle that you want to do. Follow the procedures below. And here are the materials to be used. Popsicle sticks, colored paper, glue, tape, band paper, scissor, and pencil pen. And these are the procedures to follow. First, Prepare all the materials needed. Second, fold the paper into half and then cut it. Third, fold the half size of the paper back and forth. Fourth, paste, tape, or glue the popsicle sticks in one side of the folded paper to show the angle. Fifth, write the name of the angle together with its definition. Sixth, design your work to make it more creative and put or tape your output on a clean sheet band paper. Finally, clean all the materials used or the area. And this is an example of the finished output. And here are the rubrics to follow. I will give you 10 minutes to do this.
our learning task number 7, Dream House. Suppose you are an architect or an engineer who wants to build your dream house for the people who lost their houses due to the Al Volcano eruption. Make a plan or draw your own dream house using the different angles that we learned. Then, label the angles used. Do this on a sheet of band paper. You may see the scoring rubrics below. I will give you 5 minutes to do this. And you may submit your output on our submission day. Enjoy working!
For your reflection, in your notebook, journal, or portfolio, you will write your personal insights about the lessons using the questions below. Number one, what is the importance of angels in your daily or real life? Number two, how can you apply all the learnings that you've learned in your daily living? That would be all! Thank you for watching! I hope you learned something. This is me again, Mam Rochelle Emras, your grade format body teacher, saying goodbye!